If you're horny, let's do it. I just hope you all got your money's worth out of that particular joke, because I don't have the emotional bandwidth to do another pandemic, and uh, I'm not doing it again. That was it. I hope you liked it. That was it. <sighs> I do want to know, though, anyone have any ideas why, as soon as we got to take the masks off our mouth, the cicadas started flying into them? Do we know? Like, fuck that biblical plague shit, y'all. I don't. And I know some of you are like, the cicadas are dead. Well, listen, listen. That joke's going on ice until I turn 43. So we're gonna laugh at it today, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna laugh at the cicada jokes. I had two weeks to write them. We're gonna do it. So anyway, my dog thinks cicadas are delicious, right? Um, I told her they're not, but she's an independent fact checker. So she, uh, she's gotta try that out for herself. Herself. And I hate it. Because if you live anywhere that you can do a Google search for food near me, and three Krogers pop up, you should never have a bug in your mouth. You have zero reasons to put any bugs in your mouth under those circumstances, period. <laughs> she also uh, has the added side effect that most people don't have, the ones who eat cicadas. My dog eats cicadas and then she wants to lick my face. Um, no, I would literally cope better with her sticking her head in the toilet, popping out and giving me pink eye in both eyes than I do when she comes at me after she's eaten a cicada like it's a mini Snickers. Like, no, thank you, no thank you. But now that we're on the topic of my dog and I am white and in my 20s, let me tell you some more about her. Uh, <laughs> Oh sure, you guys thought that I wasn't going to come up here and talk about a dog? Like, you think other things are happening for me right now? Y'all are, y'all are optimistic. Uh, her name is Onyx. She turned four years old on Monday, so I will be expecting your cards and gifts all in the mail. Uh, we have a P.O. box set up for it, you'll find it, it's fine. And I don't know what breed she is. She's a mixed breed that I got in West Virginia, which means that she is the most diverse export coming out of West Virginia right now. <laughs> Man, everybody hates West Virginia. Every time they do that joke, they're like, ah, West Virginia! Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. You do sound like that. Um, but I don't know what she is, and I don't care. But people always want to ask me. They're like, what breed is she? And I'm like, black and floppy. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know, and I don't care to know. The one time that this happened really sticks out for me. Uh, I was living in Florida, and a, uh, a Florida woman, if you will, approached me with her two Florida children. Um, and the little girl that's with her goes, that looks like our dog. And the mom goes, it does. What breed is she? And me being eloquent and not socially anxious at all went, black and fluffy. <laughs> And she was aghast. She was horrified. What? You mean you haven't done a doggy DNA test? No. Well, we did one for our dog, Chauncey. Or whatever the fuck this crazy word is called about, right? Chauncey. And we found out that he was part Basset Hound, part Labrador, part Bloodhound. And this list goes on and on to the point where she's making shit up, right? Like she's sneaking in part, part, uh, Part emu, part squirrel, and I think she's lying to me at this point. And she finally gets to the end and she goes, and it only cost me $126. And I was like, ah. Like, let's pretend all of us together, close your eyes with me. I have $126, can you see it? Can you see it? Because if you can see it, you should hand it to me because I, I can't see it. Um, so I send that money that I need for food and my dog off to a company. They send me back a test kit. I have to swab cicada slobber out of my dog's <laughs> mouth and then send it back. What am I going to do with that information? Like, am I, <laughs> I'm going to open the letter and I'm going to be like, Beagle, you lied to me. 
No, like whatever she is, she is. Though recently I did hear the best assumption of what she might be. A friend of mine came over to visit and she hit him directly in the nards with her face, like hard. And she did it twice, like accuracy was amazing. And as he's doubled over in pain on the floor, breathing heavily, he realizes he thinks he knows exactly what she is. I'm like, well, well tell me, what is it? Anybody else here ever heard of an Appalachian dick kicker? <laughs> <laughs> That's his joke, but he let me have it. Because he did say that. That's a real person. So credit your funny friends. Thank you all so much. I've been Amanda. Have a good night. <laughs>